five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. What I'm working on today is a painting that's titled Those Who Came Before. And so it's kind of a reflection of my time when I went to Canyon de Chez and I saw all the all the Anasazi homes and all the petroglyphs and just everything, the color, the nature, the beauty of everything around there. And so it's something I've been wanting to work on for a while. And I've been wanting to use like kind of an abstract style mixed with a traditional Navajo style of art. So I'm doing a, a combination of both and just using a, a vibrant color pattern where it catches your eye and makes you look from left to right, right to left, up and down. And there's there's like hidden hidden messages almost like in the painting. And as you can see, it has all array of colors as turquoise, yellow, red, pink, blue, light blue. It's kind of like a rainbow. So in a way it's like a chaotic rainbow like effect. So if you can see the details, there's paint splash, there's different colors. This is just the basic background for now. So the reason why I decided to use the hummingbird, the Yebiche and the Adobe homes is because the way it was explained to me in Navajo culture is like the hummingbird is able to fly left, right, up, down, straight forward and back. And so it's able to travel from this world to the afterlife as a message carrier. And that's why I always paint a hummingbird with the Yebiche because they're known as the messenger that carries from the Abiche to the to the present world. And that's how, so when they say like you see a hummingbird out of, out of, just out of the blue nowhere, it's like somebody is sending you a message to saying, hey, just let you know I'm thinking about you or just sending some blessings your way. So that's why I tend to do a lot of hummingbirds with the Abiche figure. That's what I'm working on today. Um, I've, I've figured that this is how art speaks to me is by just going at it, just throwing paint on there, throwing colors on there, and then slowly bring it all together at like one brushstroke at a time. And so that's, it's really helped me to explore my creative side. 